so this is just a quick how to condition score a horse. Um, I thought I'd do it on Smarty. He's quite a unique horse, being a thoroughbred, he's 18 years old and he's very stressy, so he always runs quite light. Um, so condition scores either go from 0 to 5 or 0 to 10. Um, basically, five, 5 or 10 is overweight, 0 is very underweight. You want to be, if they're in full competition for an eventer, you want them to be at about 2.5 out of 5. So they're slightly lighter, um, just because then they're thoroughly, thoroughly fit and ready for cross country. Um, how you do this is you want to look at the neck. You want to look how much fat they've got on their top line here, how much wobble there is, so it's not, it doesn't have any. <laughs> okay. Good boy, you're okay. Sweetheart. So this is what I mean about stress head. He's just naturally a little bit wound up. Good boy. So you also want to feel around the shoulders. Um, you want to be able to feel the shoulder um, bone without there being too much fat around it. Um, and the main thing really is for an, a horse of ideal weight, you'll be able to feel the ribs but not see them. Um, in this light, you can't particularly see Smarty's ribs, but when you get him outside, they stand out. So he's one we're always trying to put weight on. Um, he's not a good eater. Um, we have tested him for ulcers and he's okay. Um, next is you move along the body. If you look behind him, he's quite kind of moving. Oh boy. His hips slightly stand out, which isn't ideal. And you can also see the point of his bum which again, you want in an ideal horse, you want a little bit more covering around their back end. Um, like I said, he runs a bit light, so I would probably score him on about a two out of five. Um, I'd always be trying to put more condition on him. If we have Plum over here, so this is a completely different type of horse, a retired Shetland. Um, so he is the same age, but obviously a completely different stamp of horse. Um, you'd look at the same thing. So he's got a bit more wobble on his neck. Um, but I don't mind that so much in him because of his job. Um, you can feel his ribs but can't see them, which is great. Um, and again, his bum is well rounded. If you look behind him, good boy, you want a nice round shape to the bum. Um, he slightly drops away at the sides here and here. That's a lack of muscle rather than a lack of um, lack of fat or lack of yeah meat. Um, so that's not a worry because he's retired. Um, I would say he's in quite good condition for what he's doing. Um, he needs to stay warm and stay alive. If he put a bit more weight on, that wouldn't be a disaster because yeah, his main job is just to stay warm and eat and stay alive. Um, he doesn't have a job to do, so it doesn't matter if he's a bit light um, and very fluffy. So, yes, two very different horses. I would score him as a three, and I'd probably want him to be a 3.5 out of five. Um, I tend to use the out of five um, scoring system because I find it's simpler to use um, feed nutritionalists or use the um, zero to ten one just because you can be a bit more specific. Um, but as I said, the main thing is if you can't feel the ribs, they're carrying too much weight. If you can see them when they're just sitting there, they're not carrying enough weight. Um, so I'd say ribs and their hips, pointy bony hips like Smarties isn't great. So that is how to condition score a horse. I think Plum's keen to get back in his stable, so I hope that's been helpful.